I'm Dr. Cecilia Mwell, a senior research fellow working at the Institute for Biotechnology Research, whereby in the Institute we are doing research on animals, plants and microorganisms. And our main aim is to tap the genetic resource in these different organisms to improve their production so that we can help the farmers to have better yields and even the uh, plants which can withstand different harsh conditions like drought and so on. We do have the tissue culture technology and the tissue culture technology, its main aim is to multiply in mass. Like we have the commercial banana production whereby we are producing plantlets to farmers. These plantlets have a high figure. They can grow very fast within a year. They are ready for harvesting. And also, they are free from diseases that is from bacteria and fungal. So we give them quality plantlets and in quantity. We also have the coconut, eh? tissue culture coconut project. It's also aimed at producing in mass. We also have the passion fruits. We also have um, aloe vera. With the coconut, our coconut in cost is diminishing with time. We have uh, some diseases which are clearing the coconut plantations in the coast. So we are also trying to produce coconut plantlets in mass for farmers in the coast region so that they can be able to have enough planting material and be able to continue with their production. When we come to other plants, we have another project on doom palm. Doom palm is a semi-arid plant. It belongs to the coconut family. What we are doing with this plant, we are trying not only to do the mass production, we also we are trying to screen for genes which can withstand drought and salinity. When we identify these genes, we will be in a position to introduce these genes in other crops like maize and the cereal crops, which are the main eh, food crops for, the, for Kenya and also Africa. And then we'll be able to plant these uh, crops in very saline conditions and also they, can, they might need very little water for them to produce. So we are also looking for drought tolerant varieties. We also have the organic farming. Farmers come here, we train them on how to make organic manure, organic biopesticide from the farm. Also we have the mushroom program. The mushroom program is mainly set to produce eh, spawns, seeds for mushroom. So when farmers come here, we take them through the process of mushroom farming until to the market stage. So they can, how they can plant, how to set the house, because there are some conditions for the house where the mushroom should be grown. We train them on how to do that, and then how to grow from the starter, all that. And also we tell them the different challenges, like if you see this, this might be a big bacterial infection, which is affecting your mushroom. You need to apply ABCD. And also we train them not only to to, to prevent, but to control. 